Good day learners and welcome to today's video where we are going to be talking about three concepts, mean, median and mode. So let's go and have a look at these concepts so we can get a good understanding around them. Now when most people talk about the average, it is in fact the mean that they are referring to. Most schools make use of this concept when indicating the grade average or the class average on report. So they're actually referring to the mean. The mean is calculated by adding all of the values in the data set together and then dividing that by the total number of values in the data set. So let's go and have a look at an example. They'd mentioned to you to calculate the mean of these numbers. Now, remember what they said? The, we're going to add up all the values in the data set and divide it by the total number of values. Now, how many values are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we already know that. And then we need to add it all together. So to get the mean, what are we going to do? We're going to take those numbers and we are going to add them together and then divide them by what? By seven. Why? Again, because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the number of values in that set. That's going to give us 63 divided by seven, which is going to give us an answer of nine. And that's how we calculate the mean of those numbers. Now, here you can see um, you could look at anything between two to three marks. It'll probably be two marks. Sometimes it might even be one mark, um, depending on how complicated they make it. So here's another one. It is an indication of the middle value of a data set, taking into account all of the values in the data set. So yeah, here's another one that says calculate the mean of 13579. We're going to add those numbers together. And divide it by five. Why? Because there's one, two, three, four, five values in this set. And that gives us our answer of five. Now, the median. This refers to the value that literally lies in the middle of all the values. You must first order the data before being able to accurately determine the median. So here's an example. What is the median in this set of data? So we've got 4, 7, 15, 8, 9, 7, 13. We first need to sort that out and order it from smallest to largest. Once we've done that, we see that our middle um, or our median in the set of data is 8. Why? Because it's smack bang in the middle, as we said. We've got 3 on the left side and 3 on the other side. So it is smack bang in the middle, literally in the middle of all that data. But what if you have an even number of values? So I go, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4... And one, two, three, four, okay, there's nothing in the middle. Now, what am I going to do, right? If there's an even number, as this is saying to us, then the median can be found by finding the mean of the two middle values. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it'll be eight and 10. We now have to find the mean of those two values. So the median lies between eight and nine, sorry, eight and 10. And logic tells us that this is there for 9. But let's, let's not just rely on logic. Let's go and test this out. Let's check it and be sure. So the mean equals 8 and 10 because those are our values in our set. And we're going to divide that by 2 because that's the number of values in our set. And that will give me 9. So our median in this case would be 9. Then we've got the mode. Now, this is the average that indicates the value that has occurred the most in a given set. Note that it's not always possible to have a mode. And if there are two modes, then the set is bimodal. So here's an example. Calculate the mode of 4, 7, 15, 8, 9, 7, and 13. The mode from the set of data is 7. Why? Because 7 is the only value that occurs more than once. Can you see that? Right? It's the only one that occurs more than once. That is just a simple explanation of what mean, median, and mode is. And I hope you've seen the difference between all of them.